What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Afan, and today we're gonna watch some more Legend of Korra, season one or book one, air episode or chapter five, The Spirit of Competition. Now, then, before we get into this episode, if you want to see the full length reaction to this, and also if you want to see the next episode right now, you can. It's available on my Patreon link in the description. It's also available to the YouTube members as well. So, thank you so much to my patrons and youtube members and subscribers for putting me all this time i uh when i started this channel i was not expecting this kind of support and you guys have really smashed it so thank you so much it really means a lot to me now then a little bit about last episode last episode we learned that um well we meet a new character that new character well seems like they're gonna stay around for a bit um i might have been wrong about the whole mako and cora thing but then again it's because Marco is now with someone else doesn't mean they have to stay together the entire series although that was the case with that show right there you know every episode I'm like you know what I'm not gonna compare this or talk about Avatar The Last Airbender and then I start the episode and guess what two minutes less than two minutes into the video eh, I'm talking about that show you know but anyways yeah so uh, that whole thing is going on there and then uh, Marco meets her dad and her dad is this rich millionaire or billionaire or whatever and he bonds sponsors their team in the competition and so yeah now they got a sponsorship an endorsement and so they needed money they were in financial trouble and now they're no longer in that so yeah so yeah <laughs> so that's the story so far without any further ado let's get into chapter five or episode five you guys told me not to skip the intros anymore oh so yeah i'm gonna not I'm not gonna skip it anymore you know so, Korra is now doing air in the intro. To the world. And is that Aang doing air? Probably. Had eyes for one fellow, Mako. Yeah. Well, until a fateful accident. Yeah, there it is. Right into the arms of the beautiful As Asami. And she is gorgeous. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Korra versus Asami. Competition. They all knocked each other out. You joined the fire ferrets before you joined his task force. <laughs> Come on, team huddle time. All right, yeah, that happened. The task force. Amon let her go because that's a perfect message. <laughs> the fire ferrets have never been this good. I love how their eye colors are the same as their elements as well. Hey, Asami. Good morning, sweetie. <laughs> Cora's not having any of it. <laughs> 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 so cute. Okay, we'll check you guys later. You know, we'll see you when we see you. No goodbye from Cora. Ooh, Cora. <laughs> Here they go. Here we are. <laughs> I'm in the gym. You and me. <laughs> oh, lovely. Uh, head back to the air temple to train with Tenzin. See ya. <laughs> like I said, some people don't even have to shoot. Others keep shooting, and they keep missing. So, what do you think of Korra in a girlfriend? <laughs> but I think it makes more sense for me to go for Asami. I was <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. I don't know, Bo. It doesn't seem- Bo? I don't know if she's really girlfriend material. She's more like a pal. Ooh. Korra and I are perfect for each other. She's strong, I'm- So he likes her, but he's with Asami because- I'm gorgeous. Okay, I don't care what you are gorgeous. Okay, it just isn't smart to date a teammate. That's true. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know. Gah. You know what I'm talking about, Pabu. <laughs> Real love. <laughs> okay, so Bo really is the Sokka. And there I go again talking about Avatar. <laughs> But you know what I mean? He really is the, you know, the, the silly, goofy, relatable one. I'm, I'm not interested in Mako or any romantic stuff. <clears throat> Besides, he's... <clears throat> yep, definitely. Elegant, rich girl. <laughs> but let's just pretend for a second I'm oh. interested in him. What would I do? <laughs> she rode a dragon into battle and burned down the entire country. The yeah. It was so romantic. So romantic! Definitely do that. <laughs> of rainbows and sunsets that makes true lovers sprout wings and She's a Harry Potter fan. Love potions all around. Thanks to the moonlight punch forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Starting in the 
make more sense to me. Well. <laughs> Daddy was in love with someone else before you? That's right. So what did you do? Burned her whole village down with her. <laughs> Out there and I confessed my love to Tenzin. And the rest is history. Wow. Well. <laughs> Little one. Tonight is the first set of matches in our single eliminations. I was thinking it's like one of those things because the finances he's going with Asami. I mean, Asami's gorgeous. Don't get me wrong, but Marco seemed like he was interested in Korra. Although he had a point in saying don't date your teammates, you know. She's obviously had her nose to the grindstone in the gym. The ferrets advance into rapid... Yeah, they pushed him back, though. They're saying they're doing really well, but... Oh, no, no, the red. OK, no, no, no. I'm mixing up my teams because in practice they were wearing the, the, you know, the kit or whatever, like the other guys. Back in the zone two. The ferrets are on fire tonight. <laughs> the ferrets are on fire. They are the fire ferrets after all. These ferrets are working together like a well-oiled bending machine. <laughs> <laughs> well-oiled bending machine. And The future industries fire ferret. Wow, we were really connecting out there in that ring. Yeah. Yeah, definitely not blushing right now. <laughs> I mean, outside of the gym and not while searching for kidnapped family members. Or <laughs> Asami and I are... Look, I really like you and I think we were meant for each other. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I just don't feel the same way about you. Forget it. Don't you? No, but you do. Guys, you were so amazing out there. Oh, Cora. Yeah. Cora. <laughs> I don't feel very date worthy. Are you kidding me? You're the smartest, funniest, toughest, buffest talent. <laughs> <laughs> you really feel that way about me? Trust me. Marco. Some fun. Okay, sure. Yeah, see, he does have feelings. Ah. Conflicted. <laughs> oh, Lynn is the luckiest guy in the world. It's not every day you get to date the avatar, you know? Oh, well, how do you like it? <laughs> oh, these guys are perfect. <laughs> love water tribe food. I love water tribe food. Just another reason we are so great together. There's people are looking at him. Rainy champs, three years running. Don't make eye contact. <laughs> oh, she gonna confront him? Tell me, how'd a couple of amateurs like you luck your way into the tournament? <laughs> avatar. I'll give you the first shot. Cora, don't. He's just trying to bait you. If you hit him, we're out of the tournament. <laughs> His face structure is kind of like, um... <laughs> <laughs> you are one of a kind, Cora. She is one of a kind. <laughs> go on. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> 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 yep. <laughs> hey, it's the Eiffel Tower. I, I know it's not, by the way. <laughs> hey, what is it? Oh, he's sitting alone? What kind of game are you playing? Uh, pro bending? <laughs> no, I mean with Bowl in. What do you care, anyway? I'm looking out for my little brother. I don't want to see his heart get broken. You're not worried about him. Yeah, he's jealous. You jelly boy? Jealous? Yeah, grape jelly. Strawberry jelly. You pick, man. You're crazy. You're a liar. Let's go. Hey, Marco. <laughs> and this is going to hurt their chemistry in the team? Former and longest reigning champs, the Borcupines. <laughs> Borcupines? <laughs> Yep, there it is. There it is. There it is. He's a one man bending but mm. one man battalion. <laughs> no. not round two. Yeah, Bolin, let's go. Bolin's Bolin. The fire ferrets win the coin toss. Which element do you choose? I got the element of surprise. We choose Earth. What a it's 1v1? Oh, okay. Break a face off. Let's go, ball in. Uh oh. Damn. Alright, lovely. Another strike from Bolin. And he's out. 
My guy bowling is bowling. Let's go. Oh, that was a close one, folks. You, you two need to get your shit together. As much as you drive me crazy, I also think you're pretty amazing. <sighs> I like Asami too. I don't know. Things are complicated. Yeah. Oh, how do you feel now? <laughs> Why is there no blush on? Asami's here? Yeah, she's here. Nope, it's but. Look what you did! You kissed me! You kissed me back! I thought it was Asami. It was way worse. It was Bolin. It was my guy Bolin. My brother here. Thanks. How many Bolins? Bolins. How many bowls did he have? Oh, bro. <laughs> the only one I can trust anymore. Is Pabu? <laughs> Does he? <laughs> you, you traitor. Guess we'll have to do this the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bad idea. <laughs> he is a bad idea. <laughs> Pabu. They're teenagers, right? Teenage things, eh? Was he gonna throw up? Yep. <laughs> Delicious noodles. Flamio instant noodle. Flamio, Hartman. <laughs> he hit his own. Watch it. Uh oh. Advantage of Michael's unforced error. Bolin's gone. Pull. Well, this round is gone too, so they've lost if this is gone, right? I'll unnecessarily fuck you up. And the avatar is slapped with the yellow. Yellow fan? That's like a yellow card. With the buzzard wasps leading two rounds to zilch, the ferret's only hope of winning. Okay, so now they're gonna come back together. Next and they're gonna make it. Because obviously, yeah, no. <laughs> and Bolin takes a zinger to the shoulder. Looks like it's a clear. He's injured. Oh! He's injured. No! Mako, he Is Cora gonna have to save this one again? Playing with one good arm. Oh, Bolin's still in. It's got grit. Yeah, he does. Ah, uh, well, not too long. <laughs> are we gonna be all right? Of course we are. We're brothers. Bros before us. <laughs> oh. Girls. Seriously, tell me about it. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's the big kabosh! Predicted it. Let's go, Cora. And then the final is gonna be those guys that tried to bully him earlier. <laughs> <laughs> we never would have made it this far without you. I owe you. You're welcome. Threesome? <laughs> but I hope we can still be friends. Definitely. Yep. This guy kind of looks like a Sami. <laughs> yeah, that's a Senna loser. I hope we see you in the finals. Then we'll see who the losers really are. I'm peeing my pants over here. That's what the scent was. Oh, okay. Uh, if everyone's done with a little thank you party, need some medical attention. <laughs> let me help. She can heal, right? Ah, haven't you hurt me enough, woman? <laughs> X, I'm a healer. I learned from- Yeah. Katara. The best there is. That's the stuff. Yeah. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. <laughs> you are one of a kind, Bolin. Please, go on. I enjoy- It's opposites, right? It's the opposites. These two are so alike that I just don't see it working out. Her and Mako are a bit different, so. Because they're gonna- All right, change of batteries, I'm back. But yeah, I can see those two working out, but not these two, Bolin and, you know, it's weird how it works, isn't it? You would think the people who are similar should work, but. All right, so this is a pretty good uh, episode. A lot of teen angst, and we do love us some tension. Lovers quarrel. <laughs> Got a little three-way going there. So what exactly is going to happen with Korra and Asami and Mako and Bolin? I think for now they're going to stay friends, uh, which, you know, work for now. Works for Mako, works for Asami. Doesn't really work for Bolin and Korra, though, that's the thing. But, um, yeah, uh, if you guys want to see the full-length reaction, that's available on Patreon. Like I said, these 
video is go on Patreon first. So the next episode is already on Patreon. So if you want to see the next episode, Patreon link in the description. Check it out. All right. Thank you, patrons, YouTube members and subscribers for supporting me all this time. And uh, if you're new to the channel and you're a fan of Avatar The Last Airbender, well, if you're a fan of a Legend of Korra, then you're most definitely a fan of Avatar The Last Airbender. The entire series for the first time saw on this channel. So all there and pretty much everything else there as well. You know, uh, Lord of the Rings, Lion King, you know, Harry Potter, so on and so forth. Check it out. Now then, like I said, this episode was pretty good. I uh, had a little bit of a teen drama, which is uh, fine. You know, we learned a bit more about that whole situation going on because I was a bit confused. I thought that Cora and Marco did like each other. And then all of a sudden, just Asami comes in and Marco's like, yeah, let's go on a date. And I'm like, huh, what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, so I'm glad that they explored that a bit. So now we know a little more. And um, Cora has put her uh, task force thing, whatever that is, on hold for a while now. And uh, she was focusing on the tournament. So in the next episode, I presume we're going to get the final and then a little more about Aman and the task force and, you know, all that um, that is going on. I'm very much enjoying the season so far. I know some people don't really like this, but I think it's uh, it's, do it's, it's good so far, um, you know, like like I said, if you try to not compare it with that, I mean, it's going to fall short, you know, because we all know how great that is. I mean, th there's no two ways about it. That that right there is undefeated. Simple, right? So I just don't see a point in comparing it to that. Right. And that's why I mean, I will compare because obviously, <laughs> but um, if we treat this not as a competitor, but rather just as something that came from that and its own thing, then I think you'll enjoy it. And I think that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it. And if you still don't enjoy it, that's fine, too. You know, you don't have to like everything. You know, that's another thing that um, some people like some stuff. Other people like others like that's fine. You know, you don't really need to like this is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, it was a pretty fun episode. Not a lot going on in terms of the overall story, but we did get a bit of character development, which is always important in a show such as this. Um, that was one aspect I loved about the Avatar. There I go talking about the Avatar show again. <laughs> but anyways, thank you for watching. Like I said, next episode is available on Patreon. Link in the description if you want to see the full and the reaction. Link in the description to my Patreon. Thank you, patrons, YouTube members, and subscribers. I would not be here without your support, so thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...